Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's me Antonio back with another video. Just wanted to upload some more content for you guys today to enjoy. You know, I went on a tangent on my last video about um, you know some things. You know, make sure you guys are, are, are staying um, healthy and being safe. You no, know, um, look look at my hair. I combed my hair out for you guys. <laughs> interesting but um what type of games y'all playing man what type of games are you guys playing you playing somebody else game or are you playing your own game you know, it's time and it's a place it's a time and it's a place for everything in this world outside time time to utilize this this studio right be mindful right utilize, utilize my studio on my room that I turned into a studio with a little tea yes yeah, so I wanted to um before I start the video head over to one of my favorite youtubers Ralph Smart over at Infinite Waters Check them out. Got a lot of videos of for you that's going to put you up on game. You know, I'll be recommending some of the YouTube channels. Again, like I said, um, I'll be recommending video games, movies, music, you know, random topics, ideas, and things like that. Other YouTubers. You know, Instagram, Facebook, um, gurus, and personalities that I think are on to something. It's not just about what's going on in your city. It's not just about what's going on in Florida or in America. You know, we have a whole whole planet, you know. They used to say things like, you know, um, like take for instance black folk. You know, once they're done with the experiment on black folk, who you think they're coming after next? <laughs> who you think next? The Asians? Hmm? The Spanish folks? The Indians? The foreigners? Who do you think's next? So I was on uh, Facebook a little bit earlier, and one of my uh, my Facebook friends, she, you know, she had an interesting idea, something that I thought about before in the past, but I never really said too much about it because I wasn't, you know, uploading YouTube's or putting out as much content as I was before. You know, everything happens for a reason. Thank God I waited. Now I'm more articulate. I'm more articulate, and I'm old enough to put these things into perspective. So, America's always at war always at war with someone you know whether it's China you know whether it's South America you know whether it's Africa and you know they like to call you know the, the labels and the titles is what they mix you up with you know the spelling the, their, their lower vibrational magic you know they, they instead of calling Africa Africa they call it you know the Middle East or whatnot, you know, is what my friend said. Which it makes sense, you know. I always thought about it that way, but I, you know, I never, I never really mentioned it to anyone. I'm like, you guys don't pay attention to the words and the slang or the different things that they they use to, you know, separate us or distract us. It's all about the distractions. So you got to keep in mind, <laughs> there's a lot of, you know separation going on between black folks you know you know whether it's some folks talking about foundational black Americans or whether it's some you know other people talking about whatever they want to talk about when it really gets down to it again it's the, it's the division and I understand you know you what's yours is yours and nobody can take that from you but that's the whole point they want us all distracted and divided and fighting amongst each other over money. Money is the root, a root of all evil. I can't listen to a financial professor all day talk about money. Yeah, we know we need money to survive. Does it look like I'm living out on the street? Doesn't, do I, don't I look like a handsome, well put together young man? No. But, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's these certain things you want to watch for and take into an account. You know, again, uh, America's always been at war with Africa. There's a reason why, you know, there was indentured servitude uh, that involved into, you know, slavery and, uh, you know, all the colonialism that, that just spread from Europe. Because, you know, white and black have always, you know, they're, they're opposing. Of course, you can't have light without the dark. I mean, you got Africa. <laughs> African. <laughs> and then you got Europe. You were roped off 
is basically what Europe is, all the, you know, Caucasians. But, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, just going back into America and Africa, being at war with each other uh, and things like that, you got to remember what, where the power lies, where the power comes from. You know, there, there are different tribes. You know, black people fight amongst each other, even here in America. You know, Haitians, Jamaicans, Bahamians, we all, we all look at each other crazy. If you, some, you know, I, I even, even when I was younger, when somebody would call me Haitian, I would look at them like they're crazy. <laughs> but it's not even, what's the point? What's the point of that? So now that we're older, and I understand these things a little bit more, it's like, how could I put it? Uh, how, how can I say the right words so I don't be too politically incorrect? Because I'm, I'm going to go in. But, you know, I, I want to make sure that I'm sympathetic and empathetic to anyone that's listening to this video. Um, you know... There's different, there's different African tribes, what have you. You have to remember that they took the strongest. You want to know why Africa, Africans hate African Americans so much? And why sometimes the feeling may be mutual? They're not understanding each other. There's always a war. There's always infighting. They took the strongest tribes out of Africa. Or the Middle East, or whatever slang they want to, you know, dialect they want to call it. They took the strongest tribes out of that nation or out of that country. They took the strongest tribes out of that area and they brought them over here. They took specific cultures and specific Africans for a reason. Those were the strongest people on this planet. You know, we all know black people are the original man. We have the strongest everything. We have the strongest minds. We have the strongest bodies. We have the strongest spirit. We're the mothers and fathers of this civilization so of course out of the strongest people you go and pick the strongest tribes correct <laughs> that's just like dating a guy or a girl you go you pick the person that you think's the best so they pick the best black folks or the best tribes out of those African civilizations and they brought them over here to build this country one of the most powerful countries in the world so when you think about it that's one of the reasons why Africans they come over here and they're upset or they're jealous or they're envious of their stronger big brothers and sisters. You know, they always talk about, they look at Americans, uh, you know, rappers and celebrities and actors and they think that we're gods and we're kings and we're all, we're all these types of things. And yeah, we're descendants from the higher powers when you know where you come from, hence you're not stuck in the game. But that's one of the reasons why we're so divided. You know, it's not just us over here fighting each other or the apartheid over in Africa. Everybody's distracted and they're fighting the wrong fight. I don't want to curse, but, you know, <laughs> y'all need to get y'all stuff together. But that's really what it is when you really, when you really think about it, where all the envy and all the infighting and all the jealousy come from. You know, over here, we feel like we're missing our mothers and fathers. You know, we know we know we come from Africa. We know where we come from. You know, we envy y'all. We envy, we envy, you know, our brothers and sisters over the pond as well. You don't think we want to be here? There's a reason why they don't grant African Americans safe passage. There's a reason why, <laughs> take for instance, me, me and my situation. I've been raised my kids my whole entire life, but there are certain government and court systems that hold my passport. They wouldn't want somebody like me going over to Africa and teaching and leading these young people or helping these older folks get all these old rules and old systems and laws out of the country. They can't have us over here doing that. You saw the movie Black Panther, even though it was a white Disney movie, there's some truth behind it. They can't even hide some of this stuff anymore. You gotta start working together. You gotta start exchanging ideas. You gotta start expanding. Yeah, there's diversity, but we need to make sure that we come together. We need to make sure that we on point. The spear, the, the spear or the sword needs to be sharpened. <laughs> you guys need to start building up your spirit, man. Making sure that you're exercising physically. Making sure that you're not distracted by social media so much. You have to take the time out of the day to breathe. You know, cook something. You know, use your hands. Make sure if you want abundance to flow freely into your life, you need to be building something. Whether it's putting together jewelry or whether you're a carpenter or whether you're knitting rugs or whatever you're doing, washing cars, whatever you're doing, building a garden, whatever you're doing, you need to be building up your spirit, man, building up your talents. 
so hopefully I got the message across to you guys um, in a way that you guys can understand it Remember, there's always going to be differences between us but we need to come together it's not about uh, African Americans or you know I call them Afro black Afro black <laughs> um, it's not about what what separates us sometimes although those can those can be you know assets and tools and pluses but you guys let that fly over your head and y'all just worry about the separation so it's not about Americans being so strong and intelligent and encouraging and having the underdog spirit in the most powerful country in the world. Yes, we know. Like I said, they took the most powerful and the strongest Africans from out of Africa to come over here and build the strongest country. There's a reason why they have to beat us down over here. There's a reason why they have to distract us over here. And don't think that we don't envy our brothers and sisters over there across the pond. Y'all right there. In this end, right there in your power, and you guys are not taking control over it. You know, we have we have movements, you know, coming out of different places every now and then. You know, I have to do more of my research. Also, check out uh, Dr. Moonby, uh, Dr. Movie, uh, Dr. Moonby Live. She has a, a, an amazing YouTube channel where she talks about you know African spirituality and a lot of things that go over going go on over in the uh, the African diaspora. So. That is going to be the conclusion to this particular video today. I'll probably get back on at some point later today uh, if I feel it or tomorrow. I'm going to be putting out, again, more more quality content. You know, try to fix myself up for you guys, but I got my own swag, <laughs> of course. So, you know, you take me as I am. Hopefully there's another Black Tonio Views out there that, um, you know, that can you know, maybe story tell better <laughs> but um yeah um getting into n new endeavors and things like that um i've been you know there's going to be a lot of things going on in 2021 so make sure you guys are of course stocking up on the necessities you know i have um lingering thoughts you know saving up sunflower seeds and rice and you know just simple things uh, that you can that you can easily cook and save up and, and you don't have to you know things like fruits and vegetables we need those you know you have to have you have to have a certain alchemizing spirit to maintain that type of you know garden or what have you so you know stock up on the simple things like you know gallons of water bags of rice if you have a garage if you have a a, a um, what do you call it a basement or you have you know these these areas that you can store bags of rice and things like uh, seeds, you know, I say sunflower seeds because that's the easiest thing for me to think of. That was one of the easiest things I can point to to start storing rice and sunflower seeds. So, go out to your local groceries, wherever you may be. Get you some bags of rice. Get you some sunflower seeds every every week, every other every other month, or however you however often you go shopping. Make sure you're storing up your stuff. Because they're they're blocked, they're taking away your sight, they're taking away your your smell, they're taking away you know we wear a mask, we can't talk to each other, you know everyone's into you know headphones, we're not hearing each other, so no one's paying attention. And when everyone hits that brick wall at the same time, some of us are gonna fly right over it, and we're not gonna have the time to come pick you guys up. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Hopefully you guys. Have a good one. Don't be so hypocritical. We're all um, trying to do our part. I mean, if you can't tell the difference between the light workers and the people that's on some other BS, then hey, why are you watching? Go watch something else. Be safe. Have a good day.